Hey everybody, I am here with Rick Winter from HID's Extended Access Technologies Group. He is the mobile specialist, I am the mobile evangelist. There's a wide assortment of stuff here that doesn't say Signo on it, but That's it right. all works with an HID mobile credential. So what I thought might be fun is to have Rick walk us through each one of these things and how it relates to mobile. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. All right, we're going to start with this white box. What is this? This is a locker from Gantner. This is individual lock uh, at the door. This allows you to support all your multiple credentials, be it Prox, iClass, Desfire, but also it supports Apple Wallet. So just as simple as putting your goods inside, closing the door, presenting your iWatch or your iPhone, it locks it down. Once you're ready to retrieve your goods, all you do is present your credential again, and there you go. Simple as that. That, that's actually pretty cool because I think in the whole return to work thing, right, everybody's coming back into the office, but maybe I don't have a dedicated workspace anymore. You're seeing this proliferation of this smart locker technology. And again, return to work, we're not necessarily provisioning plastic badges anymore, so how do, how do we do that? And in here, I guess, is an Omni key reader of some sort. Correct, this actually has one of our secure elements actually housed in the back in a protected area and right up at the front is where the antennas are that can receive all the signals from all your credentials. Uh, nice thing again, the workplace, return to work, putting your goods there, gyms, universities are loving these types of solutions, especially now that they're going to mobile. Yeah, absolutely, and I think the important thing to know here also is like, this, is, this locker is not an HID product. This is a, 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 a product from a company called Gantner, right? Co correct. And, and so, and, and like all the other stuff that you see on this table, where HID is enabling these solutions to take place, right? That's an ID, that's a perfect word for it. Uh, uh, enabling is what we do at Extended Access Technologies. We give partners our technology, be it a module, be it a chip, and that allows them to embed it into a different solution that you might have at your workplace. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> so Rick, the next product that we have on the table here is this uh, time and attendance reader from ZK Techo. That Again, is not an HID product, but there's something HID in here that allows you to use a mobile credential. That's correct. So this, comp this division of ZK Techo is actually ZK Technologies, and they focus and center around time and attendance. So we just got done developing with them for one of our uh, end users, and they actually put one of our modules inside this particular device. So again, just as simply put, if you need to check in at your time of work, you present your phone right to the uh, reader, it logs you in, and then the same thing, when you present your phone, it actually logs you out. So very nice, it can use all the HID credentials, including MyFair, Desfire, but most importantly, it can support HID, BLE credentials, as well as Apple Wallet credentials. Yeah, so there you go. So whether you're deploying in an app-based scenario and you're, you're communicating over Bluetooth low energy, or you're using a wallet-based credential, uh, you're still using your phone to interact with this time and attendance reader, or again, if you still have a plastic card, I mean, who does that anymore? But if anybody has, still has a plastic card, you present the plastic card to the reader and it works. And that's the beauty of it, right? So as people transition from a physical card to a virtual credential, it gives you that flexibility of being able to support both as you do that transition and migration. All right, Rick, we're working our way down the table and we've come to this thing. And I think this is actually really cool because, uh, again, with the whole return to work thing and having to book conference rooms and, and book meeting rooms and things of that nature, maybe I'm, I'm not coming to the office as much anymore. This sort of device can help me uh, uh, get a meeting room together, right? So what is this and, and where is there an OmniKey in here? Uh -oh. That's a great question. So this is a great product by our uh, partner called Ideas. And the reader is actually built into the bottom of this particular booking room panel. Wow, so it's, it's like it's in here. It's down there, absolutely. So the beaut beautiful thing of this is, again, as we return to work or if we need to book a conference room because we want to have a meeting. The nice thing is, is you can select all the information right from the touch screen, but then if you want to lock it down or if you're coming back at the time of your, your meeting, you can present your phone at the very bottom and it actually lock, logs you in and now books that room for you. So it's a great solution and it actually can collect attendance so that it knows when people are actually coming in, who all needs to be in that 
in that room, as well as who shouldn't be in that room. So and that's, that's incredibly important, especially when we deal with things like uh, space utilization, right? I, you've, you've selected this giant 20-person conference room and there's two people in the room, right? How do you prevent that from happening? And really the only way to do that is to by, be able to get the metrics from, from these types of systems. Oh, absolutely. I think all the devices that we help uh, manage from a reader perspective helps with the space utilization uh, it, which is very important nowadays. And the benefit of this is, as we've all seen, being in a conference room, you see a bunch of bags in there, but no one's in the room. So but being able to lock that down or book that room for your uh, usage and being able to manage how people use that room is ideal for space utilization. Perfect, and the name of this company again? Ideas. Ideas, we'll leave all the links to their company info down below. So Rick, I'm actually really keen on this thing and you say, Phil, it's like a blue box with some lights <laughs> in it, but well, what is this? Because I think this, when I used to work for Genetech, was like the number one question I would get from an access control perspective is mustering. How do we do mustering? What is this? This is a product from a partner of ours called Serial I.O. This is a Bluetooth reader that actually transmits to your iPad or to your laptop uh, via Bluetooth, but it has all the abilities to read the HID technology, including Apple Wallet, completely Apple certified. The beauty of this is, uh, uh, if you need to do mustering reports, life safety, you need to evacuate a building, unfortunately, this will allow you to manage who's coming to that safe and secure spot by collecting their badge or their mobile phone, or even as simple as using their watch. So this is a great solution if you're looking to muster or do a tenant's uh, collection uh, from Serial I.O. Yeah, and what I really like about something like this is, especially in a muster scenario where everybody's running out of the building because, you know, heaven forbid something really bad is happening, you're going to be more likely to lose or forget your badge, your plastic badge, than you are uh, forgetting your phone, right? If it's an emergency scenario, I'm going to grab the phone and then I'm going to go to my muster point, which is where this thing is going to be communicating with your access control system. If you'd like to learn more about this, all the links will be down in the description below. All right, so we're working our way down the table and we're, we're at this thing and you would say like, well, what is that? And there are certain circumstances where, let's face it, a, you know, a plastic reader on the wall is not going to cut it. What is this and what's in there that makes it special? Yeah, this is our uh, reader by Essex Electronics. It's ruggedized reader, vandal proof. Uh, it is something that could be hit with a hammer, uh, backed up with a truck, and it's still going to work like a tank. This thing is fully supporting our SE module. It can support all the HID technologies from, again, Prox to iClass to CIOS, as well as the ability to support Apple wallet credentials and BLE credentials from HID. This is a workhorse. Just as simple as putting up your, just that quick, just that simple. It's a great thing if you have any high impact areas or vandal resistant areas that you might need yeah, to I mean, protect. I picked this thing up and it's like, it. I mean, even forgetting the, the battery here, this thing is hefty, there's security screws on there. I mean, this thing will literally take take a beating. And uh, you know, you know, I love my signal readers, but sometimes it's just, you got rugged areas and yeah, exactly. you need something like this. And I think one of the other key, key aspects here is again, the employee badge and Apple wallet, the app-based credit credentials, Bluetooth modality, MyFair Desfire, it literally will handle everything. And just because it doesn't say HID on it doesn't mean it doesn't take an HID mobile credential. That's absolutely correct. And the cool thing about this, if you want it, they can customize the center screen to actually have a logo on it too. So oh, is that right? Yeah, That's absolutely. actually really cool. So pretty nice solution. All right, Rick, so we've made it all the way down the table and uh, we've landed at where it sort of all began with the Omnikey, and ultimately in each one of these devices is something that looks like this. Very similar to this, if not a little bit smaller, it has our technology in it. So this is our Omnikey 5127 Mini without the industrial housing. This is what you can find in many of the devices, such as the uh, control panel right here from Ideas, or from the time clock for, from here from Zico. Uh, this is a great device for those that want to embed something into a vending machine or in a, a POS terminal. Uh, so it's a lot of use cases that we find that customers use this when they want to embed an HID product. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the, the 
requirements of a wallet program is sort of the proliferation of the technology. That pass needs to work not just at a signal reader, but it needs to work anywhere where you're traditionally using a plastic device today. Maybe that's an elevator uh, control system, maybe Absolutely. it's a secure print terminal. Well, how are we going to have those wallet credentials pass through into those systems? And that's, that's really where the OmniKey comes in. So beyond the extended use cases where OmniKey is already like sort of factory pre-installed, these are uh, available to put into pretty much anything you want. That's correct, so our partner ecosystem buys these products, they put them in, uh, as you mentioned, into like secure print applications from some of our partners like Lexmark. Uh, if something needs to be retrofitted and this is not the choice, uh, we obviously have our OmniKey 5427. It's the workhorse of our OmniKey reader line. It's the Swiss Army knife, if you will, can support all different technologies. And again, Apple certified, mobile certified from HID. So we've got many different solutions to handle many different applications. So happy to support you on your endeavors. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll obviously give all the information down for OmniKey below. Rick, I did have one more question on OmniKey. Yes, sir. This one is USB. Correct. I was going to say obviously USB, but it may not be obvious, but this is USB, it plugs right into a, to a laptop or any USB port. This, yes. USB, like what, what's the connection? Yeah, so this is USB, mini uh, USB connectivity, or it also has what is called a UARC. So it's a different way of how a circuitry board can communicate to different products in a different protocol. So it can communicate different ways uh, depending on the application of the partner. So what, give me an example where you would use USB versus, what would you call it, UARC? UARC. Okay. Okay. So if you want to have bi-directional communications of sending information to the reader or uh, vice versa, is when you're going to want to use the UARC, or if you want to see information in a slightly different manner. So USB typically would be used in what we call CCID mode, or it's also being used in keyboard wedge mode, where we're just outputting the information very similar to a keyboard. Right. One, two, three, four, five is how it would read the credential and pass that information on. With UARC, it sees the information slightly different and communicates slightly different to the devices. So you know something like this might use it in UARC or something like this, or in other solutions that may be in a handheld device such as this. So depending yeah, I, on the partner. I know know like when we demonstrate this Omni key to unlock uh, a laptop, it's used like in keyboard mode. I literally just present my watch, it takes my card number, converts it into letters and numbers, and then puts it on here as my password. So there's a wide variety of different ways that obviously you can use Omni key, not just in a pre-embedded device, but even just sort of on their own. Correct. Yeah, if you'd like to learn more about HID Extended Access Technologies, I've left all the contact information down below. Obviously, you can call me or call Rick, and we'd be more than happy to help you.